Hi, this is John Palmieri at RHP International, OEMcameras.com here in New York. And we're here to do a uh, quick demonstration of our uh, TAU RCIF, uh, which is the, uh, the interface that goes on to the back of the TAU, as well as the back of the uh, new FLIR view uh, that FLIR has come out with, uh, designed for uh, UAV applications. Um, the RC interface uh, allows you to connect uh, either an S-Bus signal from your joystick remote control uh, uh, to the receiver here, uh, as well as up to four PWM inputs. Um, the S-Bus will allow you to control up to 16 parameters over the single um, three uh, pin connector. Uh, the RCIF will actually supply voltage to the receiver uh, here. Lost. Thank you. Uh, obviously, we're a little bit close, and it's, this guy likes to talk to me. Telemetry uh, recovered. We are back. Um, we have it set up right now where this device is programmed, uh, which we have our own GUI downloadable uh, on OEMcameras.com under the TAU RCIF. And I'm going to switch the input here, at number five, and that will show you uh, uh, the input, you'll uh, get an overlay at some point or another that Eric will show you. And so that's what the, uh, the interface looks like. And we'll go back to our, our video. Uh, what you're looking at here, and uh, we will have it overlaid shortly, is the output of the Tau uh, 2 right now, which again is connected. So we have a couple of parameters that we can control. Uh, we have the uh, throttle over here uh, set up to uh, do a continuous digital zoom. So as you can see, very nicely zoom in and out. You don't have to go through the steps one time, two time, four time, eight time. Um, you can also set up any one of the other buttons, again, through our GUI uh, to adjust, uh, again, any of the parameters. It's quite uh, quite intuitive. Uh, we also have here uh, a switch to uh, switch between three color palettes. Um, you can set up, again, any switch to switch between all the color palettes, but we've done that uh, on one of the rotary knobs, but I'll just show you a three color uh, palette switch so you can set up, if you push it forward, it'll be white hot. Pull it all the way the other Way, it'll be black hot uh, and in the middle we set it up for uh, one of the um, uh, rainbow type uh, this one is called rain so we also have this particular rotary knob here set up to uh, scroll through all the color palettes available on the uh, the towel which I believe is up to 13 um, when this is rotated all the way to the left we have it set up for zero which would be the uh, uh, color palette uh, number one which is white hot uh, then as you start rotating the knob uh, it will switch between any color palette that you choose. And there is a list of them. Uh, you do actually calibrate uh, each knob and switch uh, on this with the uh, uh, our Tau RCIF GUI. Uh, this way, every knob will work uh, perfectly throughout the, the entire range of whatever uh, function you're controlling. Uh, so this can go all the way back. You can set up any switch to control the, uh, the color palette as well. If you switch it forward once, it'll go to one. Switch it again, go to another, and so forth. Um, we have this dial, or this uh, rotary knob over here, set up for digital detail enhancement. As you rotate this knob, uh, it's uh, FLIR's uh, patented trademarked uh, function, uh, software function in here uh, in the tau that when you start rotating it, it will uh, get sharper. Uh, it might appear a little bit noisier, but you can get more detail, hence the name Digital Detail Enhancement, out of the picture. Uh, so again, we have that hooked up to a rotary knob, and it'll go from one extreme all the way to the other. Uh, another switch uh, we have, uh, this one over here, is set up for uh, momentary flat field correction. Uh, the unit will do its own flat field correction every so many thousands of frames uh, if the temperature changes uh, in the scene changes greatly or uh, when you first turn on the unit, it goes through it several times to uh, calibrate the unit. But if you feel that it needs uh, another calibration, you can always set one of the switches up. As you can see here, uh, the screen will stop as the flat field is doing what it does. Let's see, uh, a couple of other functions. Uh, you can also set up one of the switches to invert and reverse the image. Usually that is done way before because you already know if the towel is going to be mounted to the bottom of your uh, UAS uh, or the top. Uh, if it's mounted to the top, you would just leave it normal. If it's mounted to the bottom, you can then rotate the image 180 degrees, as you can see here. Uh, the image can also be mirrored for a variety of reasons, and we won't get into that right now. And that switch would switch it back then to the uh, uh, the proper position. And the, those are a, a small amount of features that can be controlled uh, using our uh, RCIF. Uh, we will have more uh, coming up soon. We'll do some uh, flying 
and get some uh, beautiful shots uh, using all of the uh, the functions uh, uh, allowed to by the Tau. And you can go to our website oemcameras.com and go to the uh, Tau RCIF page. Uh, you can download the latest GUI as well as the instruction manual. Uh, and we'll give you a, a list of all of the functions that can be controlled uh, on the uh, FLIR Tau 2. Uh, FLIR also came out again with a FLIR view uh, hitting more of the uh, UAS uh, uh, unmanned aerial systems uh, market. Uh, our Tau RCIF will adapt to the back of that and allow you to control all the functions of this unit as well. Uh, once again, I'm John Palmieri. Thank you for visiting OEMcameras.com.